Welcome back to our series of how to align your enlarger. Today we're looking at the Bessler 23C3. The Bessler 23C3 is an improvement on the previous version in the fact that it's easier to align. They have given us a few more alignment points and it becomes a much easier process. The first step is aligning the negative stage. Next, we'll do the lens. Behind the main portion of your enlarger, there's a bracket that holds it onto the carriage between the rails. On the right side, as you're standing in front of the enlarger, there is a nut with an eccentric hole. Now that on the back side of this nut is a small bolt for an Allen wrench. This is a 532nd inch Allen wrench. And just, just put it right in the back just to hold it still. Then take a half inch open end wrench and you're going to put it on this nut. The nut's right here. Just put it on and you simply move it back and forth and it will adjust your alignment up and down. So it's a very small movement, but this portion of the bracket is pivoting on the opposite bolt, creating an up and down motion. So that gives you your side to side negative alignment. So it's just tilting very slightly this way. So move that adjustment until your alignment is centered. And then you can tighten up the uh, bolt on the back if you need to, just to snug it up so it doesn't move. So let's move on to the front to back motion of the negative stage. Front to back alignment of the negative stage is done with this small bolt right here. So there's a lock nut tightening that up, uh, but the head of the bolt's on the back. So you just turn it as needed to push it up or let it fall further down to create your front to back motion. I only need to move it a little bit. There we go. And then tighten your lock nut back up. Make sure your alignment doesn't change. And that's it. So negative carrier is done. Let's move to the lens stage. Adjusting the lens, everything is taken care of right here and on the back side of the same portion. So let me flip this up first so you can see what I'm talking about. So on the back side, there's this large nut right here and there's this lock plate keeping it in place. So take a Phillips screwdriver, loosen this screw and slide the plate out of the way. Then with a 9 16 inch wrench, you can move this nut. So let me put this back and show you what that does. This is actually a very long uh, bolt that goes all the way through to this knob. So if I take this knob off, and move this plate out of the way, be able to see it. The thread that that knob goes into is the front side of this bolt. So with this attached, you don't need to remove this at all. Just kind of finger tighten it. You want it a little bit loose, not super loose. Take your 9 16 cent wrench, make sure that lock plate is out of the way and you can turn let me get my wrench on there there we go you can turn this and it will push this entire piece front and back and that adjusts the front to back motion pretty pretty well once you have it 
tighten this to keep it in place. Then put the slide lock back down so that nut doesn't move for the next step. Now we do the side to side for the lens with this knob itself. So this allows us to tilt side to side. We just corrected front to back with the lock nut on the back. So once we have this adjusted properly, tighten it down, and that's it. And it's that easy. So align the negative stage with the eccentric nut on the back of the bracket that gets your side to side, your front to back with the nut here. And then the lens stage, you loosen this portion for side to side motion, and then the nut on the back, which moves that thread front to back for your front to back motion. Very simple, like I said, an improvement over the previous version, and it should get you aligned. Uh, first time may take, you know, 15, 20 minutes. After that, super easy. Just check it every now and then, you'll be fine. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will continue this series on aligning your enlarger with another model.